Oh boy, today we are going to do something crazier than normal. We are not only going to play as Congo, which is in a pretty bad situation, terrible ruler, not much development, no mission tree, no institutions, including feudalism, and you're not only going for the achievements to unite whole Africa, but you are going to also try doing that before 1600. Let's get to this. This is the key, of course not going to play without Iron Man, that's the most important part of the challenge. Before we start, as we just hit 75,000 subscribers, for which I'm very glad and thank you so much, I have a giveaway for you. You can win a chosen new 4 DLC, all you have to join it is to be a subscriber of this channel, leave a like on this video and say in comments what is your favorite African country and why. So as mentioned, there is no mission tree, ideas are terrible, and we don't even have food list. That's pretty bad. That's ah, alright. I'm going to delete my fleet. We're going to take the discipline from the religion and from the states. Ah, it's nothing really new. We're going to take the power points. We're going to take more power points. I'm going to death my provinces just this once. And we are going to take more power points. Then I'm going to sell the titles and uh, come on and summon the diet. Oof. Prestige, ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. that's actually bad. I mean, I'm going to take it, but that's the problem. I need to disinherit my heir first. And anyway, I will increase my prestige by 25 from this, because it depends on how much prestige you have, but it's still far away. That's okay, we're going to just get it by conquering whole land. And for the other things, I'm going to take Supremacy to the Crown, Strong Duchess, and I'm actually even thinking that I don't even need to increase my stability over, over zero because prosperity won't be important in this campaign. So I'll take the cheaper advisors right away from all three estates, and I'm going to take the advisors. This is going to be one for the tax, one for improved relations and one from one of armies, while my focus will be on the admin. At the same time, we need to uh, show this, so my vassals will start making claims around, while myself will start making spy work on Yaka and Cuba. As in a second, I will get my claims, trying to turn on my army, and I'm going to get a free company, which is costing just 0.36 ducats. Look on the alliances. Those three guys are all allies to each other. So what I could do could just do it in within one war to eat all of those guys. But I'm waiting for my vassals to make make claims on those two nations. Third goes, let's declare the war. You can see that my vassals do have the claims already, so that's very useful. You are going to use ruler leader, and you're just going there without a leader. This is a merc stack anyway. And let's go after those countries all at the same time. Ah, I almost forgot. Let's make these guys siege attitude so they just start sieging the provinces. That was quick. The northern province is going to my vassal Luango. Those three are going to my vassal Ndongo. I don't think I'll be able to take all of them within one war, so I'll be having to separate piece some of those guys. Let me take, yeah. I will have to separate piece uh, Tio. Okay, they're not accepting that, but it's because this province is being reoccupied, so I just need this couple of days. Thank you so much. And now I just have to accept it. And from this war, separate piece it. I mean, the main piece it. Just take money. Uh, 44 gets expansion, 63 diplo points, so it's all good. Those three to my vassal, those two to myself. And uh, now with this pilot or the started building, you see that I can right away create a claim. And actually cancel it and cancel this one. Why this? I'll be keep building and also build spine network on Kalundve. So now for these guys that are around here, <laughs> they all are allied to each other basically. I probably just have to go and, and kill them, which should still not be a problem. I'll ask my vassal to create claims and get my troops on the border. So we just go and keep killing those guys. Let's go and declare the war. How unlucky do you think we, guys we are with the new air? Very unlucky. Almost 420. <laughs> That's Alfonso. Yes, Mr. Alfonso. You're great. At least marriage is good. I guess I'm going to get enough prestige for the mission, so it's 30, and then I'm going just to disinherit this piece of crap. With everyone stitched, I'm going to first of all piece out those guys separately, because normally I wouldn't be able to take them, but I'm going to make them my vassal. I'm going to take the money and. Uh, of course, they'll hate my guts for some time, but it's fine. 
then let's see. If we try piecing this out now, can I... No, I can't take all the pieces at the same time. So I'm going to separate piece Kalundwe. Remember, we are uh, <laughs> speed conquering here. Normally, that's not so worth to spend 60 Diplo points on that and I guess expansion, but we are really alright. And finally, I'm going to piece out the main war in five days, which is going to give me those and other three provinces. Of course, that gave me tons of Agus expansion on the fetishist neighbors, but you see that on the most important ones, it's still fine, and uh, I would say that is nothing to be worried about. It's now that I've Vassalized Kikonja, you can see that I am at war with another two countries that this vassal is having claims on, so it's even better situation for us. Just in case of a potential small coalition, I'm going to start in front of coalitions with Kilwa to make alliance with them. And by the way, you can see that they are either they're dying to Makwa actually, so I'll probably have to improve with Mutapa as well because uh, they might join my coalition. Cheaper advisors is what we really like because for this level 2 discipline advisor, I'm going to pay 1.5 ducats. So with my budget, it's just enough. To minimize aggressive expansion and to increase the improved relations, I'm going to get my merchant here. Uh, so he will give me the improved relation bonus. My second merchant is in Avari cause because uh, I could send it to Zambezi instead of Ivory Coast because this way at least I'll be able to get the improved relations even though I won't be earning much money. So now if you take a look you see on Mutapa that's decreasing 2.8 monthly so just so right to prevent any collision from happening. Before piecing out this war I worked a little bit on improving collisions with those nations so we just avoid some stupid collision you know from happening at this point. I'm going to take those two princes from myself and those three from my vassal which name I don't want to uh, pronounce because I have no idea how. Now I'm going to... Uh, it's fine, I'm going to court the provinces and the next step is going to attack Chokfe, which allow me to eat both Chokfe and Luba in the same war, so just declare it. And also, you know, another way to also prevent collision from even being formed. All right, let's peace them out. I'm a little bit scared of potential collision, but if we go take a look here, yeah, we improve enough relations with all of the guys. Uh, plus, of course, as mentioned, I was using this uh, tricks with the merchants. So now with this war finished, we basically united our whole region in less than 10 years. This is a good starter, but of course our biggest issue right now is lack of institution. But those boys have the institution. So what I'm going to do is to attack Mut. He took the third mill deck. That's 0.5 morale, so this is going to be very tough war if he wants to fight. But it's fine. We need to find some allies to avoid the coalition in the region. So I'm going to ally Bonjour. Uh, that's another going to expand to the Great Lakes just for a second. Because the thing is, Mutapa, I would prefer to take it for myself. So I should attack a nation that is bordering them. Uh, so, for example, Sofala, but they have Miltek Force. So that will be super problematic. And then eat Mutapa to get uh, the promises as our course. You know, just in the worst case scenario, I can always take uh, another Merc stack. And I think that's what I'm going to do in this case. Because I will be still below my force limit and we need to be sure to win this war. The worst part of going there to Sofala is this freaking natives of 2.5 more also basically they're fighting on better technology than me so I will start annexing them i really do want to start annexing them i think uh, this is a small cost for salvation so 25 ducats here 25 ducats here so i can start the annexation of both here we win with this yep so now i basically uh, need to start the annexation okay let's start this one this will take three years and this one will take let's actually see this one would take four years, so it's fine. Now with this done, I can attack Sofala and tomorrow won't help. This is minus two stability for us, which is fine. I'm just going to decrease it to zero. That's just a little bit of army points and I'm going to deal with them. You might be thinking why I brought all of my armies over here. Uh, that's because I had to deal with all of those natives and, you know, just wanted to be sure that my army won't die on the way. Look, Sofala ran way over here and he does not get attacked by the natives. I'm not going after him because I'll die on the way, so I just need to wait for him to move or whatever. We can freely peace out uh, this guy, so I'm going to make them my vassal. 
and I'm going to take some money at the same time. So this got us into the war with Maravi, so our ex-ally and I could third key call into this war kill one. Let's actually do that because uh, Maravi is having mid deck free. There we go, the first annexation which is Loango. Of course now the annexation of these guys will take a little bit more but it's still three points man. Okay, let's just piece this out. You can see that I'm taking this one promise for myself. The last is going to Sofala and this is because I want to make claims on Makua myself and expand north. To just uh, send the peace deal. This is the rebels that I have to deal with. And so I can uh, make Muntap on my rival. This is very helpful. With rebels killed, I can sell the titles and seize land to keep it over 10%. During the peacetime, it's decreasing during the war, it's going to increase, but it's fine. We don't care about the Afon at this point of the game. Let's start going on the border with. Yes, let's start going on the border. Yes, on the border of Mutapa, and I'm going to declare war on the 1st of July. Let's go for this. And actually send one stack to Encore, and these two guys, you are going straight straight to Mankia. When you are going to arrive there, please say it will be before the month. <laughs> yes, just before the month tick. So this will allow me, because there was no reason when I declared the war, this will allow me to siege down this province within a month tick. And here I can choose between the tax and between the manpower bonus, and I will go for the manpower, because this is the resource that we are seriously lacking. And this will go down now, within a month tick. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That uh, should be an easy battle, and even a stack. Okay, and that's it. Uh, now I can delete the calf, see if we have money. Mercs will go for the fort, manpower troops will go after the carpet siege. One, two, 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 two. And that's it, we'll be piecing it out very shortly. They won't accept the 100% peace deal, but what we really need to take is one, two, three, four gold mines, all for ourselves. Let's take something like this. This is a terrible border girl, but it's fine. And uh, send the peace deal. See that we also took uh, all of those promises with the institution. So once I not only core, but also state those, that will take some time i'll be able to embrace the institution and i won't be having to pay that much to develop it what i'm planning to do i want to embrace feudalism by just conquering those provinces by colonialism i will develop myself that's another cheaper advisor that we just got let's just go to him and take so i can improve him to level two and annexation of the vassal just finished so see that our borders are even more beautiful and on the player's map mode we are speeding the things up! <laughs> and next step is to go and attack Makoa ASAP, which is allied to Mombasa and Sakalawa. Well, which is fine. How is Tenu Vegas expansion now? <laughs> but best thing in U4 is that the guys that you don't see, <laughs> you don't see, you are not getting Vegas expansion. So, and the guys over here that I don't see or hear, none. Zero Vegas expansion. Let's go and attack Makua now for our own conquest. Honestly, when I'm looking at my income, it's minus two balance at this point. Before we even uh, stay the gold mine. So what I'm going to do is get this guy level three and get this guy level three. So getting 1179 power points with this trash ruler. And uh, our balance is minus six, which is totally fine. Because the moment I stay the gold mines it will get way better so i can actually already embrace the institution with those promises that i got so let's just do it asap and now i'll be waiting for it to spread inside my capital it will take a few years i will start developing renaissance in this province in the meantime our point cap is so close uh, so what i'll do i'll just decrease um, my inflation and in two years, I think even less than two years, our truce with key lives are going to end. And this would be, of course, our next goal to get even more gold mines for ourselves. Aldrua just died without an heir, that's why our legitimacy dropped to zero. This is actually bad news for our stability of the country and the rebels. But good news is that the king is 536, so we are finally generating some power points. Oof, and this new R504 Bernardino, this is a good one. Of course, I'm going to keep him. Now, feudal is embraced in my capital. I'm going to change Edict to encourage development. It's 40 points to David, and the merchant guilds are loyal. So, what I'm going to do is to spend 
all of my admin points most importantly because I would like to take the middle deck ASAP so I'll just decrease it to like now 500 and admin points again and twice the diplo points so now it's present and I can embrace it right away for 200 ducats let's do it and actually in next month I'll be able to take the fourth mill deck which is very important for us at the same time did allow us to become a great part fifth one and we finally have enough pp to get the power point so this looks very very good for us right now and i'm going to declare war on q line one month all this battlefield is going to be tough even though i have big numbers advantage remember they have the fifth deck i don't even have the fourth one but i can take it right now so Ideally, you would like to wait a month before attacking. It's 13 days. So we need to count that he doesn't switch it down. 21%. I'm a little bit scared that is. Yes, okay. Now the month tick. You can just go and crash. If two takes difference, it was terrible. If one tech difference is better, but it's still the difference of milling the new units and infantry and calf shock. But I think. Yes! Yes, we'll be winning that quite easily, actually. And let's just go and piss out Malindi out of this war. I would like to take all of those provinces plus some money. That will be super helpful. Of course, they had an island here, but I had no chance to get into there because of the naval advantage. Now, see that we're getting the borders better and better. I'm gonna core those provinces and we need to organize to come back home and deal with the rebels. So what I was thinking to do over here is to move my capital to Sofala. This will cost me 300 points because my capital is well developed. But, or maybe Kilwa. I think Kilwa would be an even better idea or Sofala. I can't core it. That's the problem. Uh, let's do Sofala. Change the capital. My income is actually higher because we have more in Zanzibar, which is a great trade note. I'm going to transfer trade from this. This is going to be 14.02, 15.6 income. See, we are building this up here. And I'll be collecting for the time being. So, what I'll have to do is to start annexing these guys now. This is going to take just uh, 10 years. Oh no, no, don't cancel it. Cancel this, and now next step is to go take Malindi and Mombasa and the whole Great Lakes in one big push. I was uh, hesitating to take the fifth meal take, but because you know I now right now have the unbalanced research, but this actually helped me dissolve the coalition. So once the rest of the country is divided, now I'll go after the Great Lakes because you know the, the here I don't have this expansion, it can wait. Here I'll keep joining all of my coalitions, so they won't be able to join the college if they won't exist, and that's my plan for this. With another integration finished, our borders look even better, and that's the player map mode. That's also another, I would say, 3000 manpower that we got because we have huge problems with it. And I'll keep conquering Great Lakes while also expanding into Mutapa, so I'll clear them now, and finally going north. My biggest problem is right now, I pretty much conquered everything that I'm seeing. Right, with Beast out Mutapa, I can actually get rid of this fort and most of the Great Lakes within one war. You see, that we actually <laughs> have all of the lands that we see. So the next step is to somehow get to the North East Africa as well as the Western one if he wants to continue our free conquest. But that will happen in the second episode of this series. Yes, you heard that. Serious single player series. I did not do that for like over half a year. Alright, guys, thanks so much for coming and watching this episode. And remember that we have a free EU4 DLC giveaway. All you have to do to join it is to be a subscriber of this channel, leave a like on this video, and say in comments what is your favorite African nation and why. Thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.